My Tesla is completely broken. Let me show you what's wrong with it. So first of all, the bugs always stay on the front. So I literally wash it. I scrub it with my hands. Like I don't go through a car wash. I do it myself. It always never comes off. And look at this. Look at all the scratches on it. It's insane. Okay, but now let me show you guys why my car is broken. So we all know a couple weeks ago, the front trunk would not open. So they did fix that, thankfully. I'm, th I'm blessed that they fixed that, okay? They blessed it and they fixed it for free. They didn't have to pay. But, um, so let me show you what the actual broken part is. So I want you guys to take a look for a second. Let me know if you see anything that's wrong. No, this, these aren't broken, okay? All right, so you don't see it, but I do. First of all, the paint. They use the cheapest paint in the world to look at this. Look at this right here. It's it's not chipped, it's peeling. Here's my fingernail. Look at it on my fingernail. There it is on my fingernail right there. And it's it's all over the car. It's not like it's just one spot on the bottom. And then you go all the way on the other side, and now not just one side is completely done for. Look at the other side here. So look at this one. Look at look at this one here. Look how big this one is compared to my thumb. Look at my thumb. Look at my thumb. Yeah, I think it's almost big as my thumb. And there's this right here. This right here. All of this right here. Uh, we got some down there, not as much. Well, the only thing is bad about Tesla is if you have other work done to it other than Tesla, they won't fix it. So, so basically, if... Uh, my, so basically what my dad does for a living he what this would be a perfect job for him because what he does is he fills in he fills in the chips like that okay so he could fill it in but i'm taking it to tesla tomorrow and if it's bad enough for them to cover they will repaint the whole bottom of the car which it should be covered look at this right here look at that but anyway so if my dad did it if my dad filled in the chips he would not they wouldn't they wouldn't take it back because it, it wasn't through tesla services which is kind of annoying. I mean, a couple months ago, I had a flat tire and they wanted me to wait three to four months and not even give me, they didn't even want to give me like a spare car. So they wanted me to just wait and not drive for three to four months. But um, look at that. There's more paint. Like I, I really do hope they paint the whole car. Like it's, it's just insane. Like I've been through a car wash maybe two to three times. And then my neighbor has a Tesla and she told me that you're not supposed to go through them because it's bad for the paint. So I said, okay, I won't go through it. But this wasn't from that. This was just from the paint because my dad knows. So this was not from the car wash. So I'm going to go to Tesla tomorrow and I'm going to see what's up. So I hope they're, they're going to try to pull the, the car wash card on me. And I know, I know they're going to try to pull that card. But it's going to take 20 minutes to look at it. Then they're going to tell me if it needs to, like, if they're going to be able to cover it or not. And then they're going to provide me a loaner car or, like, a, uh, a rental car. But they should provide me a loaner car because I'm not trying to fill up my car with gas. But, like, I mean, it's good thing it's not on the doors because the whole door could be, like, no paint. It's not noticeable. But I'm the type of guy, like, if I know it's there, it's noticeable to me. And then they got, they got, they gave me the, I don't know if you could see it here. They gave me the car with the scratch on it. And then, so the scratch, this one it opens, so that's two. The Oh, the battery was also broken one time because I took it to one of Tesla's superchargers. And the supercharger wasn't completely working yet. It, it was open. It had destroyed my battery, so I had to fix my battery. Number four was the tire, which I guess that could be like, that's not really like a Tesla problem. So we got the tire. Oh, yeah, and we got this right here. This is like uh, the first week of driving it. You see that right here? Look at that. First week of driving the Tesla that happened, by the way. And this is a brand new Tesla. But, um, so a couple things that happened there. I mean, if you want to count the bugs, I don't know. Maybe other cars are like that too. There's my brother's car. and There's my dad. Let me see if my dad's car is like that. My dad's had his car way longer than me. And look, his car is fine. He takes his car to car washers all the time. Look at that. His car is fine, ain't it? Six our side here. Look at that. See? His car's fine. This is like a 2013 and mine's a 21. And my paint is completely destroyed, dude. Like, look. I'm going to try to show the show the back of this here. It's kind of on the back. It's kind of like that. And, like, this thing collects so much dust. It's crazy. Like, I thought they would have... You would think they'd clear coat it so you don't have to, like, have this problem. But, I mean, that's just insane. Like, 
Look how big that is compared to my my thumb. That that is absolutely insane. And it's not just one. Like if it was one, it could be eh, forget about it. But it's through the whole back. Luckily it's not on the front yet. Let me see, is it on the front anywhere? No, not in the front, not in the front. Okay. Luckily it's not in the front. And then we go over here and it's going down the whole side. Like it just it just doesn't it's confusing how they, I, yeah, I do like the Teslas, I like there's no gas, all that stuff, yada yada. But it's just like, I feel like I'm taking it to the Tesla dealership every other week. And the closest dealership to me is like 35 minutes. See, I mean like the front trunk is fully, it's good now. What happened is the front trunk literally would not open. They said like the conveyor belt, like I think this was broken. This little thing right here was broken or something. I don't know, They're, it's, they, they confuse me. They don't really give me a reason. But I do know like, this is how I always shut it like this. Two clicks. I don't slam the thing, but look at this, man. Scratches all over the car, and it's it's just like I, I this is my fourth my third car, and this is this is the highest most valuable car, the most expensive one, and it is definitely the one that has to get fixed all the time, all the time. I'm literally getting this thing fixed literally like once a month, and it's so annoying because there's no dealerships close to me. The closest dealership's 30 minutes away. But, uh, it's just, it's just insane. Like, I just, I just don't get why my Tesla has so much problems. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys, before you buy a Tesla, I want to make sure you guys see all my videos. Because, like, I'm biased, so I'm going to give you all the pros and all the cons. Obviously, the pros are no gas, fast car. You save, you help the environment, but obviously the cons are what I just said is I'm getting the car fixed literally every other month. It's just insane. But I mean, personally, I would, I'm not going to go back to a gas car, but I do love the Tesla. I'm very like appreciative for it. I would just get my, get my plug right here, go plug it in and I'm good the next morning. But so if you get, if you get, get a Tesla, try to avoid superchargers and try to just charge it at your house. Because it's cheaper for you. I mean, the other day, it was only $15 to charge up my whole Tesla at a supercharger. Versus me paying $5 a gallon. So, that would be probably like $50 at least to fill up my car. So, not bad. Not bad. Not, you know, not too shabby. But, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about a Tesla, comment it right down below. And, uh, I'm curious, like, what Tesla model is your favorite Tesla model? Make sure you like this video and hit that big red subscribe button down below. New videos Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, three times a week for you all. But, uh, pretty cool. I'm thinking about getting it wrapped. I don't know yet. Maybe a purple. I gotta see if they could fix my car first, because that's more important. Because, like I said, if they get it wrapped, they might not be able to fix it. So, I want to make sure that I didn't even touch the Tesla car from other dealerships other than Tesla because I'm not trying to get them mad at me. You know what I mean? You want to be good friends with them. You want to be on good terms because I mean, therefore they could probably just click a button. They could probably just click a button and turn your car off and start your, not let your car start. So um, other than that, we're good. Cross, cross your fingers for me guys. Leave this video a thumbs up. So my Tesla, they said if they have to paint it, it'll take up to a week and a half. So I could have like a, a uh, bad rental car for like a week and a half and pay gas on that'd be so bad thank you guys for watching this video i love you all I'll see you next time peace tesla prank all right i'm in my tesla now now i go to the whoopee cushion now we wait for someone to walk by all right here we go oh there we go there we go <laughs> ew it was him